let's get started with this video if you guys enjoy this one do me a favor and tap that like button smash the subscribe if you enjoy my content and tap that notification if you want to stay up to date with all of my uploads the first thing you're going to notice is the map has been updated the travel menu has now looking a whole lot better and this is going to be really handy so if you click on things like this for instance you're going to see a little node appear with the town of Babylon. inside the node you've got all these different things so now you can just jump to the different districts if you are in one of the, let's say for instance if you're in the doomwood area but you don't see all of these it's because you haven't been to those locations so whatever locations you're not seeing is because you haven't been there yet so anyways that's the new map really really nice this is a beautiful map Sharfe did a really good job on this it is gorgeous and i like it now of course there's going to be more locations added as more locations are added to the game we also have an xp boost going on right now this is going to last an entire week and this is not any ordinary xp boost this is double xp this is the first time it's ever happened to my recollection up until now every time we have had a boost week it's usually only been 150 which means that you're gaining 50% more XP than usual. But now you're actually going to be gaining 100% XP more than usual, which means double XP. So this is really, really cool. I'm excited for that. Of course, don't forget you can couple that with all of your XP boost items that you have. Or not items, but I mean the... What would you get out of the way, Poe? I'm trying to do something. Thank you. So there you get these class XP boosts. Definitely want to use those this week while you're farming because that is definitely going to get your classes to a place where you're going to want them. Also, I figured out a fast way to get right to the housing thing that I wanted to check. You just go to get more house stuff and it'll take you right to the place. I wish I'd known about this before because otherwise I had to run to this location. So we're going to have to, there's some new items in, ah, there we go. We've got some new items. Heavy block wall. Oh, I like the Look at that. We've got some new things added as well. I'm not exactly sure what is new. Dark bush is new. I think the leafy bush is new as well. If I recall correctly, oak tree. I think this is also new. Pretty sure that is new. We've definitely, these are definitely new tower pillars over here talking to this guy we probably have some more whoa we have even more do we have anything else in here i don't think we have anything else. oh wait a minute we have a plain bunk did we have that before i don't remember if we oh we do have more oh okay some stuff for dragon crystals got a set of candles Ooh, coins yay pile of coins nice i'm definitely gonna ha oh heap of coins there we go and then we have more furniture. Whoa. So there's tons. Oh my goodness. This is more than we can. We're, we're not going to look at every single one. Because that's going to take way too long. We have a vast number of new items. Wow. Zers. Now I know not all of you love housing. But for those of you that do. This is a massive, massive win. Look at these options. You have tons of. There's couches. You can get, there's chairs. Well, okay, those aren't chairs, but there's chairs up here. Like, wow, man. And I don't think those were there before. Maybe some of these were available, but definitely not all of those. And then we have art corner. That, so this was available before, but have a mouse day. <laughs> I love it. I think this is in the Warlicks thing. Best friends. Cool. So these are different ones that we've seen around the, well, that we already had. Handsome, oh, <laughs> very handsome. <laughs> so, wow, there's tons of these. Now, what on earth is this? Wood planks. I wonder why it's not showing it properly. We've got hoot of a photo. <laughs> and then for this, you need pet feed you need pet feed to get these so if you haven't been doing your pet feed quests you might want to because you've got some stuff you can purchase here moglins 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 Ooh, 
I know a certain Dragon Ultra that would want this one. 500 Moglo Mansa. So I only have 300, means I need 200 more to get that. I definitely got to put that in my house. What the heck is this? Okay, that is cool. Wow. So that's 50. So some, some of this stuff costs Dragon Crystals, but this is actually really well done. That's the art corner. Large decorations. Ooh, we got some statues. Oh, man. Is that the one? That's the one from Green Guard. This is freaking enormous. We got a golem. Another golem. Or gargoyle. I'm sorry. I'm saying golem. A stoic. And oh my goodness. There's a brass or copper. And a silver. And then a gold. Nice. It's shiny. A guardian dragon statue? Wait a minute. Do I need... Dang it! I won't be able to get that right away. Pharaoh's statue. What do we need for that? Sun Fury or Holy Son of a Crap? Wow! So that those are not going to be easy to get. Oh man! We've got our work cut out for us. I have fifty, but you need more Atlantean things for those. Ooh, that's cool! Wow! We have our work cut out for us, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely got some. House. Do we have new houses? Guardian Tower Room? Did we have Guardian Tower Room before? Castle Room, we had that before. Pocket Hangout. I'm interested what that means. So this is the Heroes Hangout, which is now a map. You can now use this as a map. Okay. Do we have any others? We've got, ooh, Lava Caldera. Lava Caldera. This is also a new map. I'm not sure. Okay. I wasn't really... Sure, what to expect. I love that those dragon's eyes are glowing. Interesting map. Definitely unique. The lighting on here is a little different. Look at my... Look at my character. Three different levels of being able to build on. And then with the lava. Now, I I doubt the lava will cause... I mean, cause damage. Okay. I was wondering how that would work. <laughs> so the lava doesn't cause damage because there's no elements or whatever in effect. But that's a nice... I like that map. Nogath's Chamber. Is this new? Yes, this is definitely new. I like... Oh, they got that door. That's pretty cool. We got some statues of Nogath. And then you have another room over here. Some lava. Can we get into the lava? No, we can't. But kind of spacious down there. You got more room to build if you can get out of bounds. And then this area. So, yeah. Next thing you may have noticed is your housing slots are gone. Well, not gone. They've been changed a little bit. So I have the Green Guard Quarry on the blue server. I've got my Moons surface on the red server. But I also have two other ones here. One is the Green Guard Quarry, which is private. I've also got this one. And down here I have my Moon, which is the Moon Sing. Now, if you had this, this is basically, if you had a double, see, this is the Moon's surface, but this is also the moon's surface. So if you do have more than one map of the same thing, you would still have it. It would have stayed, but your other houses have been added as slots because there are no more, uh, whatchamacallit, there are no more house locations. They're all, you're going to find them all right here in your slots. They've removed slots and replaced it with just houses. So houses and slots have merged together. Now, another thing is house items. So right now there are 4,000 house items available because I am a guardian. So if you are a guardian, you're going to have a total of 4,000. It's 3,000 if you aren't a guardian. It's 4,000 if you are a guardian. And for an additional 500 dragon crystals, you can obtain a thousand more items. I'll purchase this one. So now I have 5,000 because I have the additional limit. Can't go above that right now. However, that could change. They might allow you to upgrade even more once, you know, more house items and stuff become available. But just because I have it on this house doesn't mean it's going to be available on this house. For instance, as you can see, 4,000 is still the same base, but... This one here, oh, sorry, not that one. 
This one here, which is using the same Green Guard quarry, this is only at 4,000 because this is where it is. So it's very, it's specific for what map you unlock it on. So you'd have to purchase it for each house. Another thing you're going to find is rolls. And what this means is you can have somebody. So I'm going to jump over to my house and I'm going to invite my alt account here. So right here, you'll see add builder. This is the option where I can add my alt account as a builder on my map. And then my alt account will be able to build for me. And this is going to be the new feature. This is going to come in super, super handy to have other people building on your maps or helping you build on your map. I think this is going to be a really, really awesome feature. And I'm sure people are going to love this. Now that is not everything that has been added in this update. There's still something else. You're going to want to check it out. In Doomwood, we're heading over to Bone Cliffs. Because in this dark side of the world, you're going to find the bone. And it's been updated. Well, the bone zone has been updated. So now there's a whole bunch of skellies in here. Each one of these are level 10. Unscaled. So you'll be able to just go to town on these guys this will definitely help you get the weapons that you have been sodding now that is not the only thing in this location there are specific ones well npcs i should say enemies i guess that are higher level enemies i believe they are level 45 monsters that spawn in this location upon killing them you will be obtaining a travel form of the npc or the enemy that you killed this image right here gives you an example of one of the monsters that is around here so upon killing him you're going to be getting the cord of bone slayer now, just to clarify exactly what the bone zone holds, it says here, skeletons aren't the only horrors lurking in the deepest corners of the b many dimension. Legends speak of powerful bone versions of familiar faces that roam the graveyard seeking battle. Who knows what reward awaits those who dare to face them. And beyond that, an even more sinister foe lies in wait for an unlucky traveler who crosses its path. So this is even more incentive to... Go to the bone zone and farm. There's one of the enemies right there, Valencia Bone Digger. I didn't get to kill it, but I saw the body after. I was already too late. But that is it for this update. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.